So I got a 25 horsepower EFI 2022 Mercury engine and wanted to connect a tachometer to it. There's not much information from Mercury, uh, even including that I got the shop manual and there's no schematic in the shop manual as to what the wires in the wiring harness are. So in any case, um, after a lot of research and not really finding much information, I did piece together what you see here. I bought this tachometer. It's just a uh, Chinese brand inexpensive tachometer. You can get them for two, three, four times this price, different colors. They all basically work the same way. You need to connect the wires. You need a positive wire, a negative wire. You need a signal wire. And then if you want a backlight on the tachometer, you need another another wire for that, which um, you want the wire to switch with the key so that uh, you only have power to the tachometer when the key is on so that your hour meter is uh, only registering when it's on. So uh, what I did piece together was that there's a uh, wiring harness from Mercury and it terminates in a connector. I don't remember how many pins it is. It might be as many as nine pins. But if you want to get the, uh, the gauge connector wire, they want $100 for a piece of wire that's three feet long that has a connector that mates with the wiring harness on one end and then just individual wires on the other end. So what I simply did was um, I cut the connector off of the wiring harness that comes from the engine and runs to the control, you know, gear shift and throttle control. And there's one connector on the end of that that's marked gauges. I cut that connector off and then just hooked the wires directly to the tachometer, again using uh, the switched positive wire, a negative wire, uh, a wire for the light, which you need to just switch separately, and the signal wire. The key thing is on this wiring harness, the signal wire is gray. So if you get the wiring harness for a 2022 Mercury uh, outboard. Um, probably your wiring uh, in the gauge bundle of wires is also going to be gray. Can't guarantee this, but it was on mine. I hooked up the wires and they worked. In terms of programming the tachometer, the way I did that was bought a $20 um, visual tachometer. You paste the reflecting strip on whatever you're trying to measure. You point the laser tachometer at the, in this case, the engine. It gives you a reading, and then I simply set this tachometer, the one in the dashboard, so that it matched that reading at the low speed, and then tried it at high speeds, and um, it seemed to match. Each one of these tachometers is going to program differently. Some of them are going to, you're going to set it up by the number of cylinders, the cycles of the engine, various different configurations based on whether uh, you get your signal from the alternator or whether it comes from the spark plug or whether it comes from some other device. So it's kind of a guessing game, but this one basically just had kind of an infinite range. It didn't set according to cylinders or a number of um, cycles or anything like that. It just had a moving scale and I uh, got it to match up with the visual tachometer and uh, that's what worked. So I can't tell you this will work for you, but it did work for me. I did spend quite a bit of time researching it. As I said, bought the shop manual, which was no help. Uh, the dealer was really very little help. Um, they just wanted to um, have me have them put it in. So um, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, again, use your own discretion. This worked for me. I don't know what will work for you. Good luck.
You can use a digital voltmeter to confirm what each of these wires do. The switched wire, the negative wire, and the signal wire. It's not really going to tell you much. It's going to jump around. But um, these colors worked on my harness. Maybe they'll work on your harness.